When I enter the route, I know there is so much climbing in front of me that I've already done, that I have to do again and actually have to do it perfectly and without losing as much power as possible to be fit enough for the top. So it gives you like a lot of pressure on every single move on the bottom because you know that if you waste any energy here, uh, it's gonna, yeah, you're gonna lack energy at the top and you remember that try where you just pumped out at the top. Uh, I'm trying this 9B+, plus, which is called Perfecto Mundo. Uh, it was first ascended by Alexander Negos, and I'm trying to get the third ascent after Stefano Gisolfi. I'm here for almost three weeks now, and um, yeah, I'm getting to my last days, because I'm in total we're gonna be here for like 19 days, I think. And yeah, trying to send this nice route. The route Perfecto Mundo shares uh, the first 50 meters uh, with the route Gancho Perfecto for 9A, 9A plus, and uh, Perfecto Mundo is 9B plus. The first section is already kind of hard though. Um, then just when they, the two routes split, you have like an okay rest point, and from there Perfecto Mundo starts to get really hard. You have like five quite powerful moves, and then you have like a difficult clip and um, a really weird pocket, and then you get the mono. I kind of lock it with two fingers and you have this crux move to a pinch. Two more okay moves to like a bad rest. And from there you just have five more uh, pumpy moves to another okay rest. You have uh, three more moves just above the lip, which are kind of hard actually. And uh, then you have an easy slap until the top. The first week I only tried to get the moves dialed, like worked out every single beta for the whole route. After like um, yeah, a week I started doing serious tries and um, after like 10 days I already got extremely close and um, got over the crux for the first time but then was just too tired and fell shortly after. So this trip I uh, was pretty psyched to get um, one of my best friends Alphonse Dornauer. Uh, on the team, I would say. Also, my international friend actually from Slovenia, uh, which I know from all the competitions, uh, Domes Kovic is joining us. This is not only about trying a, or sending a hard route, you, you have a lot of time you have to spend. So uh, it makes the whole experience so much better to have like really great friends around and just have a good time. Come on. 
Wieso bunt, wieso brutal, das gibt's ja nicht. Oh, oh mein Gott, why do I suck so unbelievably hard? Oh my fucking God. I only have fucking maximum power, but like just zero endurance. It's incredible. Das ist mir herplatten, das gibt es ja gar nicht. Unglaublich. Das war der Henkel jetzt gewesen. Ja, vor allem jetzt schaffe ich es wahrscheinlich wirklich nicht mehr den Trippe. Es sind wieder alles überall aufgerissen. Und wenn ich sogar da noch rausfliege, wenn es besser geht, wird es nicht mehr. Ich kann nicht glauben, dass ich sogar diesen Arm verletzte und fast diesen Move verletzte. Das ist mir enorme. Uh, for me, it seems like it's not that hard to cross the crux because I have really good maximum power right now, but I really don't have the endurance to get through the 8B section in the end because I just get uh, so pumped. I guess I got uh, as close as you can get. Um, I passed the crux again. Felt really good actually. I stuck the move that I like was my high point so far. But then all of a sudden got so pumped and like fell on this last move to a better hold where I could rest a little more again. Really disappointed right now. I really felt like this is the go. Um, I felt like I actually got it and I know that Alex and Stefano never even closely felt that high. Like once they pass the crux, they send it. That's frustrating, but I feel like it should really go this trip. I have a few more days, I think uh, three climbing days left, so really not a lot. Uh, tomorrow and then one rest day and two more. So yeah, the pressure is uh, getting higher. Um, I mean, obviously there's always the possibility of coming back on another trip, but uh, I feel like I'm supposed to already have done it. Yeah, my emotions like were huge because it's like I know the route, I tried it and I know that he basically done all hard stuff. I mean, you can uh, fail, of course, but like on this part, I think he shouldn't. And I think he knows that as well. And I mean, I was, I was sure he's gonna do it. But he still has two more days and I'm pretty sure like every time he does better and better. And I think he, he knows that and yeah, I believe in him, he'll do it. These things are actually important in the climber's life. I mean, you have to work for it, but on the end, you always do it kind of easy. I think you don't learn as much as from things like this. Come on. Come on. I got this. Come on. Come on. Nice. Yeah, now it's not only a physical uh, fight to, to get to the top, but also a mental battle kind of. So um, to actually just keep it together, uh, stay focused through the whole route, um, even through all the parts that I've done like so, so many times and that already feel uh, easy. And because of that, you actually have more time to think which makes it like harder mentally to stay focused in the route. And um, yeah. Time was running away, I, this is my second to last day, like I have only two more left, so I have to send it now or I, I don't have a lot of tries left, so yeah.
I feel just really, really relieved right now. If I would have sent it maybe a week ago, uh, it would have been a much easier process. But uh, actually having such a battle in the end, falling so many times uh, on the upper section and even falling on the very last move of the route made it um, a lot harder mentally, but also made it into a process that I will never forget, I think, for the rest of my life and makes it even, makes the send even more special. So uh, that's kind of sick. <laughs> 